It was a routine traffic stop that turned into the most deadly police shooting in Oakland's history. Three officers were killed and a fourth has been declared brain dead. This is an extraordinary uh, tragedy, you know, almost unprecedented. I mean, this is a, a, of historical proportions. It all started when two officers stopped a Buick in this East Oakland neighborhood. The driver opened fire, killing Oakland Police Sergeant Mark Dunnigan and gravely injuring Officer John Hagee. Hagee's friend Don Miller read about the shootings this morning in the newspaper. I'm looking down and you see one name, an officer, an officer. You can't identify, you know, it's just a name, right? Until, oh, John Heggie. I go, oh my God. The suspect, 26-year-old Lavelle Mixon, fled. Police and deputies from nearby departments started a massive search for the gunman, scouring the entire neighborhood as worried neighbors looked on. We received information, uh, the whereabouts of where the suspect uh, was in the first shooting. Uh, we had SWAT officers go into that building and that's where the second shooting took place. Police say as members of the SWAT team entered the building, the suspect again opened fire, killing Sergeant Irvin Romans and Sergeant Daniel Sakai. Other SWAT officers fired back, killing Mixon, a parolee with an extensive criminal history. A good number of these parolees are not where they're supposed to be. They say they live in one place and when uh, parole agents go there, they're not there. Tensions between law enforcement and local residents have been high since the shooting of an unarmed 22-year-old by a transit officer at a train station on New Year's Day. Evening. Oakland city leaders are pleading with the community for understanding, while the police department grieves the loss of so many of their own. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.